Illinois Republicans are preparing to head to Milwaukee for next week's Republican National Convention. And they're going to do it with a brand new leader. Paris Schatz has more on who that person is and what's in store for next week. Paris. Yeah, Sylvia and Scott, that new leader is suburban attorney Kathy Salvi. She's been active in conservative circles for many years. She unsuccessfully challenged incumbent Senator Tammy Duckworth in 2022. Salvi was selected from a list of three finalists this afternoon. Illinois Republican Congressman Darren LaHood tells me he believes the party is now headed in the right direction. I think we see a real focus on winning back seats at the state level and federal level uh, and, and winning on the issues, uh, particularly the ones that President Trump will be focused on. And Salvi takes over for Don Tracy, who stepped aside after failing to stop some of the infighting in the party. It's a party that won't be sending a huge delegation of elected officials to Milwaukee next week. That's because... There aren't many in Illinois. There are no statewide Republican office holders and only three congressmen to 14 for the Democrats. And the city of Milwaukee is making final security preparations, as you see, putting up fencing around the convention site and preparing for a huge welcome party at the Summerfest grounds this weekend. All Republican eyes on who Donald Trump will pick to be his running mate. I asked Congressman LaHood who he thinks it'll be. Governor Burgum of North Dakota, maybe people didn't necessarily know him, but he's got a great business background, did a tremendous job with the energy industry uh, in North Dakota. Um, I think J.D. Vance is right there, senator from Ohio. As you look at the states, particularly in the Midwest, Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania, Ohio, I think he brings a lot to the table. And lastly, uh, Senator Marco Rubio of Florida, I think he's right in the hunt also. I think he probably brings the most from an electoral standpoint to bringing more voters in across the country, particularly Hispanic voters, new voters, young voters. She it. Political translation there, he doesn't know any more than we know. Now, Ms. Salvi did not return our calls seeking comment. And you can catch our full interview with Congressman LaHood, plus lots of other great stories tonight at 10 p.m. on Paris on Politics. And we'll, of course, be live from Milwaukee all next week.